Has the wild speculation finally come to an end? Researchers such as Avi Loeb put forward the provocative theory that the interstellar visitor 3i Atlas was not an ordinary piece of space debris, but possibly an extraterrestrial spacecraft. But now, NASA has stepped in and, with detailed data, made it clear that the object behaves like a normal comet in almost every respect. But why did the alien hypothesis spread so quickly in the first place? What do we now know about the nature and composition of 3i Atlas? And what does that mean for our understanding of distant cosmic worlds? Well, you can find out exactly that in our video. So be sure to stay tuned until the end. The story of 3i Atlas began on July 1st this year, when the Atlas Telescope in Chile identified a faintly glowing object racing across the night sky. However, initial analyses immediately revealed that this was not just any celestial body that had caught our attention, but a structure that is not gravitationally bound to the Sun and has a hyperbolic trajectory. This means that it does not follow a closed orbit, but shoots through our solar system like an arrow. As a result, it was clear that this mysterious something did not originate from our home world, but had come to us from interstellar space. The new guest was then given the name 3i Atlas, with the 3i making it clear that this was only the third known interstellar visitor ever. Oumuamua, one of its two predecessors, had already caused quite a stir and sparked wild alien speculation in the past. But what do we now know about the third member of the interstellar trio? Well, the Hubble Space Telescope has shown that the core of the object is between 0.3 and 5.6 kilometers in size, and that it's hurtling through the solar system at a staggering speed of over 200,000 kilometers per hour. For most astronomers, 3i Atlas is therefore an absolute dream object. Studying its orbit, chemistry, and behavior promises valuable insights into the formation of comets and planets in distant star systems. And yet, not every expert took such a sober view of our guest. On the contrary, Harvard professor Avi Loeb soon published a scientific article and several blog posts in which he approached 3i Atlas from a slightly different angle. He had already done this with Oumuamua when he explained that the mysterious object exhibited all the characteristics one would expect from an artificial solar sail. In the case of 3i Atlas, Loeb again pointed to some anomalies such as the fact that no clear tail was visible at first and that the trajectory seemed extremely unusual. In detail, the object flies surprisingly close to the planet Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, and Loeb stated that the probability of such a course is only about 0.005%. In light of this, he put forward the theory that 3i Atlas could have been deliberately directed, or in other words, that we may be dealing with something artificial after all. How NASA is responding to the alien claims. But what is Loeb actually trying to tell us? Does he really believe that an extraterrestrial spacecraft is currently traveling through the solar system? Well, not quite. He emphasizes that the most obvious explanation is still that it is a normal comet. His unconventional hypothesis is merely a thought experiment aimed at keeping science open to unusual possibilities. However, the mere mention of potential alien technology made headlines. And just a few years after Oumuamua, the public was once again discussing whether an interstellar visitor could be more than just ice and rock. But what was the response from the other side? Well, NASA did not leave Loeb's comments unanswered, of course, but responded quickly with its own, much more down-to-earth assessment. According to this, the observed characteristics of 3i Atlas match almost completely those of a natural comet, and the data give no reason to suspect any kind of artificial background. NASA scientist Tom Statler sums it up as follows, quote, It has some interesting properties that are a little different from those of comets in our solar system, but it behaves like a comet. Therefore, the evidence overwhelmingly suggests that this object is a natural celestial body. It is a comet. The Scientific Significance of 3i Atlas And of course, this is not a vague assumption. It is an assessment made with the help of ground-based observatories and the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes. And the results are clear. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, 
astronomers observe the development of a tail, which typically forms when sunlight warms the icy surface of comets and releases gas and dust. However, Statler mentioned that the chunk has some interesting properties that differ from those of our native comets, and that includes the tail. Unlike most tails, which are narrow and clearly defined, this one is broad, diffuse, and fan-shaped, almost like a flag. However, according to NASA, this is not an indication of an artificial background, but rather a sign of the natural variability of interstellar comets. Scientists suspect that the unusual tail is caused by slight outgassing across the entire surface and the special composition of CO2-rich ice. And that brings us to the next interesting feature. Spectral analyses showed water ice and carbon dioxide in the coma, or in other words, the comet shell, with the ratio of CO2 to H2O significantly higher than in comets from our solar system. These normally contain much more water than carbon dioxide. The ratio is often 10 to 1 or even higher. In the case of 3I Atlas, however, the ratio is reversed, suggesting that the ice originates from a very cold, distant star system where CO2 remains frozen more easily. This unusual ratio also influences the behavior of the comet because CO2 sublimates at lower temperatures than water. A brief explanation. Sublimation means that a substance transitions directly from a solid to a gaseous state without first becoming liquid. The frozen CO2 of 3I Atlas thus evaporates directly into space without melting, creating the broad, diffuse tail. This also explains the unique light reflection and polarization signature of the dust. Basically, the dust particles in the coma scatter sunlight differently depending on the size, shape, and composition of the grains. In the case of 3I Atlas, however, the unusually fine and widely scattered dust grains cause the light to be reflected in a special way, resulting in a unique polarization signature. When the light is measured, it oscillates more strongly in a certain direction than in normal comets. This measurement provides experts with important clues about the properties of the dust. In other words, how it's structured and how it formed in interstellar space. As a small interim conclusion, it can be said that something unexpected does not always have to indicate the work of an extraterrestrial civilization, but sometimes simply shows the natural diversity inherent in the cosmos. Instead of delving into exciting alien theories, NASA is unsurprisingly focusing on the scientific value of 3I Atlas. It offers researchers the rare opportunity to examine unadulterated, pristine matter from interstellar space firsthand. A glimpse into other worlds. And that's exactly the point. Just because 3I Atlas is not an alien spacecraft does not mean that it's not interesting or significant for research. Quite the contrary, interstellar comets always open breathtaking windows to distant cosmic worlds. Each one of them bears the chemical and physical fingerprints of the environment in which it was once formed. As mentioned above, the dominance of carbon dioxide in 3I Atlas indicates that the chunk was formed in an extremely cold region of its system of origin. It probably formed at a much greater distance from its star than most comets in the solar system, and some experts even suspect that it originated in the so-called thick disk of the Milky Way and is over 7 billion years old. By comparison, our Sun is only 4.5 billion years old, so we could be dealing with a true Methuselah of the cosmos here. And that makes 3I Atlas much more than just a curious discovery. It is something like a preserved time capsule from another planetary nursery that drifted through interstellar space for billions of years before crossing our path. Studying it could therefore provide us with important new insights into how planetary systems form and evolve throughout the Milky Way. However, 3I Atlas also shows clear differences from its two predecessors. Oumuamua had no visible coma, which caused years of discussion while 2I Borisov appeared to be a completely normal comet. 3I Atlas lies somewhere in between. Although it behaves like a comet, it exhibits special chemical properties and light reflections that make it stand out clearly. This diversity is important because only by comparing such rare objects can astronomers determine whether the processes that shaped our solar system are typical or rather an exception. 
Each new interstellar visitor thus provides another piece of the puzzle in a much larger picture. At the same time, however, the controversy surrounding 3i Atlas also shows how science actually works. No matter how outlandish Loeb's statements may seem, they highlight the importance of questioning existing assumptions and allowing for unconventional ideas. NASA, in turn, emphasizes how crucial reliable data and careful interpretation are. Together, both sides make it clear that speculation has its place, but only evidence can provide a definitive answer. And we would like to emphasize that only one click can secure a permanent subscription. Simply press the thumb icon and subscribe to never miss a new video from us again. See you soon.